Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a blower from Blacksmith's Depot that was sent to me completely free of charge by a good friend of the channel, Rob Huff. Thank you, Rob, a lot. Thank you, good sir. We will put it to great use here in the shop. So without further ado, let me flip you around and we'll talk about the, the blower itself and what I think about it. Okay, so first things first, as you can see, it is working really, really well. Um, we'll come down here to the blower just like so. Uh, you can see that it has an adjustable air gate right on the blower housing itself. That'll come really in handy for adjusting this thing out. Um, I'm not sure how audible this is going to sound, how loud it's going to sound on camera. Uh, it is quite a bit louder than my Dayton blower. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off real quick. So now you guys can kind of hear the difference of just regular noise in the shop without the blower. And that's with the blower. So that's, that's about how much noise we're dealing with there. Um, obviously, as you can see, I've added a bit of pipe. It has a three inch outlet on there, which is plenty big uh, for doing what we need to do with the blower itself. And so I've just basically run a bit of dryer vent up around and stuffed it into the bottom of the tweer of my coal forge. Now I still have a hand crank blower, but as many of you know, I am running coke in a coal forge and the coke requires a lot of extra air. So much so that this is just really, it's a lot of cranking to upkeep uh, with the airflow. Uh, you have to supply the coke with almost near constant airflow uh, to keep it alight and keep you a forging. So, I will, I will go ahead and throw up the specs of this blower up on the screen. Again, you can get this little, this great blower over at Blacksmith's Depot. Um, and I suggest you go check it out there and read up on it for yourself and pricing and, and all of that other jazz. I, so what do I think about this? Well, first off, very well made for what it is. Uh, you know, there's a little bit of roughness in the casting, just a tiny bit, you know, and the feet aren't quite flat and, you know, just little, just little kind of minutia type things. Uh, but I was sent this free of charge by a good buddy just to take and help out the channel. So I really can't rag on it that much. But if you're considering purchasing it, just kind of keep in mind that, you know, it may not be a perfectly machined flat and uh, perfect blower but it came with the switch already wired in, which is awesome. The, the blower motor itself doesn't seem to get very hot, which is a good thing. I think it'll work for really a lot of continuous use. And the main thing that I can say about this is this puts out about five times the amount of air that my other little Dayton blower that I had in here previously did. So uh, it's a big win for the oxygen standpoint to be able to feed this coke fire and do it well. So I'll turn it back on here and open it up. As you can see, I can get quite a bit of airflow out of it. So there you go. There's my quick thoughts on these, uh, this blue blower that you can get over at Blacksmith Depot. Again, hashtag not a sponsor. They're not sponsoring this video. I get no payment or anything. If you go over there, there are no links. Well, I'll put a link to their website uh, for the blowers, but I get absolutely zero kickback or anything like that. Um, this was just simply a gift that was sent to me by a great friend of the channel and I greatly appreciate it. And uh, I think it's going to work out really, really well. Um, so I can give you as close to an unbiased review as I can, maybe in, an, maybe in a year, two, three years. We'll just have to, you know, we'll have to come back to it and see how it does. Um, I like the little thing. The only thing I kind of dislike about the blower is the fact that it's blue. Uh, I've got a fly press over here that is blue that I'm trying to cover up with stickers, which by the way, if you're interested in sending me some stickers, hit up that PO box down below and we can do a sticker exchange. Uh, I'm trying to cover the blue on this one. And now it looks like I'm gonna have to break out this can of spray paint or get a whole boatload more stickers to cover the blue on that blower as well. As many people know, I'm not a big fan of blue. For whatever reason, I just get a lot of blue tools. <laughs> but anyways, that's nonsense. This really has nothing to do with the blower at all. Thank you guys for watching this video. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing. I come out with new videos all the time. There's well over 
1700 videos here on YouTube for you to enjoy on the channel that I answer just about every question around the subject of blacksmithing. So be sure to check that out. Thank you all so much for watching this uh, content. Thank you to all the channel members that make this content possible. God bless each and every last one of you and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.